Asna, apata. That means that if a man, before a man dies, he leaves a representative to make sure that the lineage or the culture will not die. Asna, yamuno di kelamba. It means the day a king came out from a community, that's the day another king came out from another community. Which means a child cannot be shown the mom's breast to suck. Giri giri, abu gweze. Giri giri, abu gweze. That means, that is in English, they say, Cloud is the res respect of a king. Cloud, when a king is going now, you will see cloud following him. That is the respect of a, a, a king. If a, if a king is going and nobody follows him, that king is no more. It's a celebration of our culture. It's what we are known for. It's a, a cultural uh, affair where we gather annually to thank uh, God for having made it through the previous year and to also call Him to see us through this uh, coming year uh, to make our land fruitful and our harvest plentiful. Um, there is absolutely nothing fetish about it, contrary to popular belief. There's nothing fetish about it. It's uh, more of a, a cultural retention stuff where we all gather uh, and welcome visitors to you know, just showcase our own culture. Yeah? Showcase our culture. So um, you, you, you see what happened here today. Um, um, it will be so much fun. Um, it has been a culture. Whatever way you want to dress, dress. But normally it is. Such. Normally it is such. Painted with every different color. If you watch my legs, you will see I have different colors on my legs. If you watch my lips, you will see I have different colors on my lips. If you watch my shoulder, you will see I am an evil man. Conk evil man. Ebony man. Who believed in culture? Let's leave religion apart. And this is our culture. We met it here and we will leave it for our children. It is a thing of joy. No matter how big or how poor or how rich you are, you will enjoy this our culture. Whatever home you walk in today, eat and drink and enjoy your life, that's our culture. Today is our culture. We don't hide about it. Whatever place you walk in today, eat and drink and enjoy yourself, then go back to your home. After our normal tradition, our, we will come out to our cultural center, which is called Mbaruku, then display the culture that we all know as every people. And I know Saka knows about it. Iguana knows about it. It's not a hidden thing. And there's nothing above we coming out, celebrate and dance with our brothers and sisters. And the, the normal thing will take place, which is yeah, the culture yeah. now. Yeah. The, the Igwe in a Igwe language. Just get out one he good and remove the head with one cup.
In the morning of that Epe festival, there will be gunshots early in the morning to alert the people that that is the D-Day. Then, later in the day, maybe between 7, 8, 9 in the morning, children aged between 8 and 10 will start it first. They will go from house to house with their drums, with their bambala, you know, they will walk around. Then after that, you see another grade, because it's an age group thing. You see another group, maybe between 15, 16, 17, with their drums. They will be going around. Then before the elderly ones will now come. So when they come, everyone will go to the village square and begin to wait. On the side of the Ebe, you know why I'm saying all these things is because I have the experience. I happen to be the son of an Obuefi, a man that have done it severally and finally retired. So on the morning of that Ebe, when the children and other groups will be going around the community, you know, playing their drums and the bambala, the people that will take care of the masquerade will be at the place that the community will choose. There is no shrine where the thing is coming out from. There is no any place that is occultic. It can be in any home that they choose. So when they finish, another gunshot will sound, alerting the people that it is almost, or it's already prepared to come out. Then there are people too that will escort the when they want to come out. So it's, it's a nice, it's, it's a nice festival. It's a nice festival. When the masquerade comes out, the people will know that the masquerade is out with the gunshots, at least 15, 20 gunshots, heralding the arrival of the masquerade. So when the masquerade comes, dances for some time, you know, good dance, the people will enjoy the dance with the masquerade, then they will present the goat. When the goat comes, you see, Talking about goat, you know, this uh, thing involves both goat and cows. But in the case of goats, just one swing. And if you caught that once, it must be once. In this community, we've not had any mistake. That is what is called in our place, we call it umpo. Ibu umpo. Ibu umpo means the person couldn't cut the goat once and that means the person didn't even cut it at all. If you miss it once, it means you've missed it. So we call it Ibumbo. And when that happens, the masquerade will be in trouble. What I mean by trouble is the people will be put to shame and the masquerade will begin to run. Because with anger, people that have been disgraced can decide to lynch the one carrying the masquerade. So Ibumbo is an um, it's a bad thing to happen to any masquerade. But when you cut that once, the person would now be called Obu Sam. He's a sharp cutter. So when it's always a joyous thing, people will rejoice and say, hey, Obu Sam, Obu Sam, because the person did well. But nobody will like to ask Obu, but you know, <laughs> because if they call you that kind of name, it means you have messed up the masquerade. You have messed up the festival. And another thing I want to talk about, if, if somebody have caught gold for at least four or five times, uh, the person is now qualified to move to another stage. Like my dad, he started dancing this masquerade 
1960. His own case, he caught more than 20 times because there was no one to, 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 to take over from him. It's not as if there's no one, nobody that was qualified, but the man, because of his artistry, he knows how to dance, you know. His cutting is always sharp. So he, he, he did it for almost 20 years. Before, in 19, between 1998-99, our community started preparing for, for him to move to another level, and that is the Obuefi level. So, and uh, when it comes to Obuehi, if one wants to be an Obuehi in a, a festival, uh, the, 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 the community will sit and decide how many, uh, you know, how many courts that the, the person will be given. Uh, in my father's case, he was given seven. They say you caught the cow seven times so, and removed the head. But the man, as a sharp cutter, <laughs> he just took only two. <laughs> and that was how he, he, he removed the, the, the head of the cow. Just two short, two cuts, you know. So for cow, they say seven, but the person that will cut it might be sharp, might be a great sharp cutter, and he decided to do it once or twice. So. Narod. 2008 was when I entered up and the court with Sam. I didn't see anything sacrifice. Did not take me to anywhere to lay a sack or to break uh, 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 an egg. No, comfortably they took me out from my house where they wear me the masquerade cloth. They did not take me to any shrine to say, this is the sacrifice of this. This is the sacrifice of this. This is the sacrifice of this. But you know, I want to say, 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 so in this culture, I want to man on him. I was so good, 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 the same way they practice it and the same way they cut is the same way we cut today. Obi at the motor. Nee, I am a hook and mill a line with a la. Obi at the quantum motor. Nee, no time more about wood, wood, aqua de lumia. Nee, I got a good teacher, a boy in Jerusalem, a bovener, I name a mayor, a wood. And then we had the communal, narrow, narrow. The naffo call, a buffo key. Bidding <laughs>
Every child in this community cannot be taught about it. It is in the blood. Once you are born in this community, you know the festival is real. As you are growing up, you grow up with that spirit. Even people that claim they, are, they go to church uh, on the day of the festival, you will see them, they will be dancing in their various homes, pretending not to be partakers. But that is why sometimes we say, Ewa, Ewa, Ilmarebe, Ilele. So it's in the blood. 